Hey guys, this is Old Time Radio, and I've got a new tutorial for you today. Um, this one uh, should help you learn how to um, get animated textures out. Uh, we're going to do a couple of different things. We're going <coughs> to export some animations from Planescape Torment using the Infinity Explorer and we're going to export those to animated GIFs then we're going to bring those into GIMP which is a free uh, editing program for image editing program we're going to run a couple of scripts on it and then we're going to save out individual images of the animations that we uh, exported and then we're going to take those individual frames and we're going to glue them back together uh, to make a sprite sheet and I'll show you what a sprite sheet is good example of a sprite sheet here. It is a number of different sprites on one sheet. And so what happens is to get the animated effect, you play this one first, then this one second, and this one third. You play them quickly enough and it makes a really nice animated effect. Okay, that's a sprite sheet. And that's how Neverwinter Nights does animated textures, at least in this in this context. Okay, so we are going to uh, use Gluit to, to make the that sprite sheet I just showed you, or something similar. And then we're going to have to save it out as a BMP file. We're going to bring it back in a GIMP. And then we're going to resize the height and width to be the closest of 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, possibly 4096. But that's going to be the resolution. We're going to, we're going to muck around with the resolution of our final product to have it be as close so that the, the, the height, for instance, is whatever the closest number is to one of these, and the width, whatever the closest number is. It doesn't have to be square, necessarily. Um, but that's going to help some of the older video cards deal with it. Um, and you can always take care of any distortion um, after the fact. Uh, and then we're going to uh, export from GIMP into TGA format. We'll, everything will be ready. Um, to apply to our um, to apply to our uh, mesh and to our emitter. Now um, there's two different ways that you can use an animated texture. There's, uh, there's actually more than that, but we're just going to focus on two today. Um, one of them is as a texture for a mesh. So imagine a flat plane like a like a table or something. You can apply. Any, you know, you can apply a texture to that, and any texture can be an animated texture, okay? And what we have to do is, in conjunction with, <coughs> in conjunction with that, we're going to include a TXI file, okay? It's a little text file, which will um, show us, uh, or actually it'll tell the Neverwinter engine how to, um, how to display the texture, okay? In fact, oh, there we go, I got it. So... This is going to be, this is an example of the TXI file that we're going to use. Okay, and I'll show you how all that works in a little bit later. And we're also going to uh, put it on an emitter surface. And uh, while you can see the mesh surface, the flat plane, um, for uh, for this uh, sample image we're using. Unfortunately, you can't see it, but there is an invisible flat plane here. It's not visible in any way at all, but it is uh, created. If we click on the, um, on the emitter, we'll see that it is created right here by the size X and the size Y. This flat mesh is 200, about 200 centimeters by 200 centimeters. And sure enough, we have, um, th this is in meters, so it's also 200 by 200. And though you uh, you can't see it, you're just going to have to imagine it. Um, why is this important? Well, these both uh, have their uh, strengths and weaknesses as far as uh, applying an animated texture to them. Uh, mesh might, might not be the best um, uh, target for an animated uh, texture, but an emitter might and vice versa. And so... For instance, uh, you notice there's a bad frame here, okay? Uh, you can correct that pretty easily. Um, you can see here in the tool set, this is the emitter, and we're skipping the bad frame in the emitter, whereas the flat plane, which has the bad frame, um, 
we're not able to skip that by modifying the TXI file okay so you have more control over animations with emitters that's for sure okay emitters seem like they're a little harder to work with but really once you kind of get the little thing you want to do down pat you're pretty good okay so once again just to recap we are going to um, load up Infinity Explorer we're going to export an animated GIF which will be one of the animations we're going to load that up into GIMP we're going to do some resizing of the layers with a script we're going to we only have to do this this particular bit once we're just going to make sure that PNG files are saving with no compression and then once that's once we're sure that that's set we're going to come here and we're going to run the save all layers script it's going to save our animation as a series of frames in the PNG format we're going to use glue it to glue them all together to make a sprite sheet remember sprite sheet yeah there you go to make this guy okay and uh, once we've made the sprite sheet in BMP format which is the format where we have to save it out to with glue it uh, then we're gonna come back into GIMP and we're gonna resize it uh, so that the um, resolution uh, is uh, plays well with Neverwinter and graphics cards including older ones and then we're gonna finally kick it out into TGA format and then we'll get to the point where we're actually applying to stuff and then we'll look at it okay so that's the end of part one um, uh, I tell you what there's one last thing I, I want to uh, let you know about there's some those scripts that we're gonna be using uh, right here the all layers image size okay uh, these will be included with the package you need to go into GIMP uh, and find your scripts directory so GIMP uses scripts to do some pretty cool things and in this case uh, my scripts directory is here for this installation so yours is going to be about the same uh, you are going to uh, just look for the SCM files if you have a problem finding your GIMP scripts folder should be pretty easy to find though and once that's done then you can copy the um, copy the script files which are here SCM SCM we're going to copy both of those into our scripts folder and then we can either restart GIMP or we can just go down to filters script foo refresh scripts and it'll load those new scripts in and then by doing that it'll give us extra um, extra functionality in the form of the all layers to image size which is the first we'll use in this little regimen of ours uh, that function and then it will also give us the under the file menu the save all layers okay and that's what what will break up the animation into 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 separate parts now you're gonna see all this in action I just wanna uh, be really careful and describe it as thoroughly as possible because uh, I ran into problems almost every step of the way uh, doing this okay so we'll get started in the uh, in the very next uh, tutorial thanks